Dwayne Johnson, the movie star, and The Rock, the wrestler, are two different people. And the greatest failure is we didn't see that charisma in movies. What DC need now, I'll tell you what DC need now. And I think this is what's, what's, what's very key for DC. DC needs a very strong Superman. Get rid of that Henry Cavill garbage. That, 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 that thing is done. Man of still get that thing done. Let's talk about this. Let's have a real conversation about why DC needs to be very careful where they're going right now. Because DC needs to ensure that they don't end up screwing up because they've got a great opportunity here. But before we really get into what DC should be doing, the rock needs to, to the rock needs to be realistic. I grew up idolizing, forget about supporting loving. I idolized the rock. I literally idolized this guy. I bought his book. I was fully obsessed with him. He was one of my idols. And the greatest sadness is the, in my opinion, the greatest wrestler of all time, the, one of the most charismatic people of all time, which was The Rock in wrestling. That guy isn't Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne Johnson, the movie star, and The Rock, the wrestler, are two different people and the greatest failure is we didn't see that charisma in movies dwayne johnson the movie star is a businessman he's a businessman and he's a guy who is too calculated and thinking too much about making money instead of just entertaining and just allowing the beauty of art to just breathe through um because if your movie star has to come out and say oh you know a movie made a profit when it's already being leaked that there ain't gonna be a black adam too you know something is up because he did the same thing with baywatch where he actually attacked the critics the reality here is this and i think i said this before but let's reiterate this again dc can't copy what Marvel did. And what DC don't realize is that whole Marvel thing of multi-universe and things interlocking, it's finished. It's done. <laughs> so it's not as if like this is a, a new thing. That thing had a a run that's not expired. It went from 2008 to when was it? Was it, is it 2017? Is it 2019? When and basically whenever Endgame came out. So it was from always from Iron Man until the year that Endgame came out, and that's it. Because this phase for Marvel has been trash. It's been garbage. Apart from Wakanda Forever, it's been garbage. So I don't know what James Gunn is going to be doing right now since he's, he's the new head, but the biggest mistake he could make is trying to do this trash with Black Adam. What DC needs to realize is we're not Marvel. We can't be like Marvel. We can't make a Justice League film that will have the same success as, as the Avengers. It's not going to happen. That's not how these things work. You can't copy someone else's model. DC's strength is we can make films. Because when people talk about you know the really top comic book films that really pushed the envelope, they talk about Superman 1, they talk about Batman Baby Begins, I wasn't a fan of that, but you throw in TDK in there. You talk about Batman 1989. The thing that, you know, really pushed things. And you talk about Joker. You talk about Joker. That's what DC is about. Not this DCEU. DC's issue was they saw the incredible success of the MCU and they wanted to hook up it. A few mistakes they, 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 they made. Biggest mistake was giving everything to Zack Snyder and having Snyder have, have so much power. That was stupid. Because for MCU, the power was with Kevin Feige, who obviously has a brain and he knew how he, he knew who to hire and the people with the right expertise. 
The mistake was they made Snyder the director, the creator, and the Kevin Feige. Because it's Snyder who brought in um who brought in Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. Patty Jenkins didn't pick Gal Gadot. Wonder Woman, I thought that was a damn good film. Gal Gadot is just a trash actress. So it has nothing to do with Patty Jenkins, who is a solid director. But Gal Gadot is a trash actress. But who was she picked by? Snyder. Who picked Henry Cavill as Superman? Snyder. <laughs> who picked Ben Affleck, Batman? And I think what James Gunn is realizing is Snyder really screwed everything up because he just he because he just created and just picked trash. Man of Steel. I try to watch Man of Steel again. I said, did I miss something? Did I maybe miss something? I try to watch it again. Man of Steel is trash. It's essentially trash. Great beginning. Superb be- 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 beginning. But do you realize that Man of Steel doesn't have a, a, a middle act? It doesn't have a second act. Most films has a, have a three-act structure. Beginning, middle, end. Man of Steel begins, and then it ends for two-thirds of the film. Snyder is a talented visualist. He's a garbage storyteller. In terms of storytelling, he's garbage. <laughs> so, I think that, look, because I didn't even bother watching Black Adam because, you see, I can sell a film by watching the trailer. That's the whole point of a trailer. A trailer, like, nine times out of ten, I know what a film is like when I see the trailer. Nine times out of ten, very, very, very rarely do I see a trailer that is completely opposite of the film that I see. And when I look at the Black Adam trailer, I'm like, oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, this yeah, this is garbage. This is a read. Don't, don't, don't. But beyond that, for me, Dwayne Johnson, the movie star, is a waste of time. I don't watch his movies. And this comes from a guy who was a huge fan of The Rock. Because I'm not watching a guy who is trying to make arts. I'm watching a businessman trying to make money. So, Dwayne Johnson, you're coming out, putting out a tweet saying that, oh, no, I've seen the financiers. We've, we've made 50 to 70 million profits. And this is what makes it so, it's, it's so sad because everyone is calling him out on it. So, you said that, oh, oh, we are on to making, like, I think 400 million um, worldwide. And he then referenced Captain America, First Avenger. That also made around the same amount of money. Dwayne, as everyone said in the comments below, there's a thing called inflation. You're referencing a film which is actually one of my favorite films, one of my favorite comic book movie films. I actually have that as my theme. You're referencing a film that came out in 2011. 2011. And also, you have to, so you, you keep in mind that that film came out in 2011. And that's what it's made in 2011 compared to what it would make in 2022 is far more. So you can't relate 2022 money to 2011 money. That makes no sense. But beyond that, this is just a sign of desperation. He put that stuff out because he knows what guys are going to come because he knows that James Gunn and the guys at the heads know that we, this Black Adam, this, this, it's, 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 it's a done deal. It's a done deal. Like if a, like a film that is received that badly, really by critics and fans, it can't move forward. It can't move, move move forward. So, but my see, if I was advising James Gunn, this is this is a bad advice. So look, scrap Black Adam, scrap Man of Steel, scrap Wonder Woman, scrap that. That's just it's it's nonsense. Don't do a DCEU, and, I, and I'm afraid that's probably what they're going to do. But my advice to him is, you look at the other Batman, you look at Joker two coming through. What you do is you give directors and filmmakers full creative carte blanche in creating um very stylish and ambitious that's the keyword and ambitious takes on on characters what would an aronofsky batman look, look like what would a a um, david fincher green lantern movie look, look like what would a um um, Wes Anderson Superman film look, look, look like. I mean, so and people they've been murmuring. What would a Spielberg Superman film look like? So, and what you do just yeah, so interpretation, interpretation, interpretation. Or if this does really well, oh, let's give a, a, a sequel. Because going the DC EU route, it's because again it would just seem as if you're just copying you're just copying the MCU. And for me, I feel that look because the belief people are already sensing it. There is a bit of comic book movie fatigue happening. And I do feel that people are slowly going away. And 
I'm hearing some stuff about this Avatar movie right now. Because people say, oh, James Cameron is trash, he's crap and everything. People have talked about what Cameron has done in this Avatar film and Way of Water. So if this film comes and blows people away like, like it did before in terms of from a visual sense or view, that will even buy more into, man, this whole Super Remote movie thing, I ain't, I ain't buying it, chill. I ain't buying it. So... You see, what DC need now, I'll tell you what DC need now. And I think this is what's, what's, what's very key for DC. DC needs a very strong Superman right now. See, Batman could do his thing and everything. What DC needs now, what James Gunn and everyone needs to really combine into is we need to get Superman right. We need the right director. We need the right writer. The right, the guy that comes up with a strong story. I think, what's it called? John Logan. I think he may have done Gladiator and he's done a few films. And I think he did Skyfall. Get a strong screenwriter. People always miss the screenwriter because the story is the Bible. Strong director, strong screenwriter, and get a strong Superman. Henry Campbell is a garbage actor. Get a guy who is a truly good quality actor that has, he has a Superman aura, but he's a good quality actor. Because people forget, Christopher Reeve may have had a look. Christopher Reeve, he went to freaking Juilliard. Christopher Reeve, you know, he went, to, he was in the same school as, um, what you may call it, um, Robin Williams. He was a damn good actor. Get quality. Get quality around you. You know, get a quality to and that's what, what you will do. Because you DC have to look in the footsteps of the Batman and um, Joker. But see... And that's the issue with the Batman, because the Batman, it was almost there. My biggest issue with the Batman was two things. Paul Dano dragged the film down because he was trying to do a whole comic book movie thing. It seemed like a very serious, grounded film. Like, well, this is grounded. Then Paul Dano comes with his, with his crap with the weird like that. I'm bringing in the Joker. No. Go the full years and making the film, which is and the, the best thing to happen to, to DC. The best thing was Joker. Because when you looked at the Joker's like, oh, this is a film. No, but this is just a fully realistic. Because like Joker did what the Dark Knight was trying to, to do. <laughs> you know, was trying to do. Joker did that. I said, no, no, Bell's whistles. This is a film. Beginning, this is just a real film. No comic book movie nonsense. And that is where I think DC should, they, they, should lie, they, they should pretty much lean into. And here's the thing. You have... HBO Max, HBO Max, go crazy, go wild with the stuff. But for the films, make these things real, tangible, high quality films that guys can connect with. And see, Superman is where you can now have the right balance. But what the first port of call is getting Superman rights. Get rid of that Henry Cavill garbage. That 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 that, that thing is done. Man, I'll still get that thing done. Total reboot and do it right in terms of a rights the director, the writer, the actor. Start from scratch and, you know, make Superman hopeful. Don't make him a mass murderer. Don't, don't make him, like, just crash into buildings and everything. So, but, and, and that's what I think that they should do. So, look, just to end it, I feel, <laughs> but it's okay. I feel, I do feel bad for Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, because I know how hard he was. He would have worked to try to be this major movie star. And I know how much he'd have wanted Black Adam to be really this thing. But see, this is the issue with what he do, he, he's doing. You see, when they were doing the MCU, Ken Feige didn't really care what the fans were doing. Now, he wanted to please the fans. But all Kevin and Feige wanted to do is, how do we make the best piece of work in and of itself, the best possible art? That's what we just want to make the best possible art in of itself. Because if you make good, good art, people will come. <laughs> the issue with Dwayne Johnson and the whole Black Adam thing is, why did he put Henry Cavill there to please the fans? Why did he just put all these bells and whistles there? Oh, what do the fans like? Action, mindless, CGI, throw the stuff in there. So you're not really making good art. You're just trying to say, okay, what can we do to please the customers to make the most money? Film is art. It's not, it's not It's not. a business. It is a business as a byproduct, but it begins as art first. You make good quality art, you make the money. Like, why did Avatar make all that money? Do you think Avatar made all that money because he was worried about 
what fans were saying. No, he made it because it make good quality ads. James Cameron just said that no. Uh, forget about what people will think. If I think this is a good film, I think others will think it's a good film. I'm not making it just to cater for the audience. I'm making good quality out to begin with. That's what Peter Jackson did with Return of the King and the Lord of the Rings films. <laughs> you know, so and that's what the guys were doing with Infinity War Endgame. So that's my thing. But DC man, you have a big opportunity to try and get this right. Because right now, with how Marvel is looking, with the MC is looking, is looking a bit shaky. Because I'm not sure, but where where Marvel are, you have a great opportunity to like, you know what? Let's bring back that mature, big boy, true quality filmmaking, anti cookie cutter stuff, back to the stuff and reinvigorate, in, reinvigorate this comic book movie genre, man. 